Thanks for tuning into this quick video. I saw a great blog post yesterday that talked about having a switch to turn off and on your conditional formatting colors. And I've used this for many years in dashboards for people, and I thought it was a great reason to go back and revisit a file that I had made a while ago, but I hadn't turned into a video because I got distracted by something else. And so I've got a particular client who wants to sometimes use the conditional formatting, but other times it's a little bit too much, and so he wants to be able to turn that off. And so I put a little switch in, like what you see here. Up the top, we've got colors on, but I can choose colors off and all of those colors disappear for me. Second example has uh, one difference and that is that you can choose to have colors. You can choose instead of colors to have a format based on fonts only. So in this case we've got bold for everything that meets the criteria and we've got a, a lighter faded color for everything that doesn't meet the criteria or you can turn it off and so the contrast between those is particularly apparent and useful in my case because one of the coaches that I work with uh, in my day job has is colorblind and so therefore any conditional formatting is, is fairly pointless for him. Second interesting aspect about this uh, second example was using a slicer rather than a drop down box. Not really necessary, but I thought it was an interesting thing to use because uh, people tend to like that sort of stuff. Let's go to a clean sheet and go through from scratch. If I select these cells, there's two rules that I need to apply. Click on conditional formatting, new rule. Second option says format only cells that contain cell value less than 50. And we want to choose a format fill more colors, light red. Um, doesn't matter what you do here, it's really just an example. Let's add a second one. New rule, format only cells that contain a cell value greater than 75, green. And so we've put our two rules in there. Now we just have to have the ability to activate that switch. With those cells still selected, again, a new rule. This time we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And that formula needs to say this, equals this cell, and I use the American spelling of colors, If that says colors off, then we want no format. I could check that by clicking on the format and making sure that it says no color and automatic font color. The reason that it hasn't worked for us is one little selection we have to make in that conditional formatting manage rules box. And that is it needs to be at the top. So this isn't going to be any good if it's at the bottom needs to be at the top of the grid so it gets treated first and we tick this box that says stop if true. If we then apply that we can see under our little pop-up window all those colors have disappeared for us. So that's off and on with a drop-down box. Second example but I've written the rules down in a cell below. Let's copy this, make it easy for ourselves. New rule. For each of these three rules, we need to use the same option, which is use a formula to determine which cells to format. We want both, which is why it says and. This top part needs to say colors. And any cell in this grid needs to be greater than 75. The reason why it currently says K7 is that is the selected cell. You can see it currently says 85 and it's white, whereas the rest are gray. As long as we don't have dollar signs before the K and the 7, this rule will apply across the whole grid. Let's put a green fill on there. 
and click OK. Let's try the second one. I'm going to copy that. Select my cells. Neural user formula. Paste that in there and set our formats. No color on the fill, but on the font we want bold italic. That particular option, the one where we choose fonts, has a second uh, condition that we need to allow for. New rule, use a formula, paste it in there. This time what we need to do is make sure that the font is a light grey. Final rule, just like we looked at before, is we need to put the off condition in. Selecting the cells, new rule, use a formula, equals off. Final thing to do is just set up that slicer. It's not really necessary. I think the drop down box that you used over here in cell F3 is a perfectly good option, but this one uh, is just interesting, I suppose. All I've done here is I've written a table with the three options. And if I select those options and insert a pivot table into an existing location directly underneath and click OK. All I want to do is drag that down and I've got my pivot table selection. In the design tab, turn off grand totals. With the pivot table selected, insert a slicer. And when I just click on one, as long as I don't multi-select, there's only going to be one option here. So all I have to now do is do a direct cell link between O3 and my pivot table. And we're good to go. I'm just going to expand this over the top so we can't see those workings. Normally I'd hide them somewhere else. But now we can see that we can go colors, fonts, or off. So as a concept, I think it's quite good being able to allow uh, a user to see the, the colors or a particular format if it suits their style, but um, certainly not something that's going to rock your world and change the way you do things, more something of interest.